Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the past few days, I have shared the momentum current and the uh, qi practice of uh, Wing Chun. And uh, due to that, I have received many messages from our Wing Chun friends worldwide and uh, many questions and uh, many discussions. One of the questions many Wing Chuners friends asking me is about how is Xiu Lim Tao sets? which is the basic of Wing Chun, develop the momentum current and the Qi part. So today I like to share with you on that. And also there are many friends who ask me, am I giving up Asia? because it seems that the information I share is uh, really, really different from what Asia Wing Chun believe in. And uh, I like to respond to that here today so that uh, here on, we can put it into a history record that uh, what happened. Now, what I can share with you is that uh, it is a really painful for me to study Wing Chun history. It is really painful, okay? Yeah, it is very sad too, because uh, I'm a Chinese descendant. And the more you found thing out, which is very different than what people think or people believe in, that uh, make things really sad. So it is like uh, you go watch a movie, like those uh, detective movie. Uh, at the beginning, you thought that the bad guy is the bad guy, the good guy is the good guy. But at the end of the movie, you found out that the good guy is in the gray. The bad guy is not necessarily bad. So that is how I felt. And uh, for those who want to know my feeling on that, go listen to the song from Nerja, the movie. From now on, I wonder with myself. Uh, Sometimes life is really difficult. It's because uh, different people have uh, in living in a different condition, different era, and uh, many things you cannot change it. Okay, even though you mean good, but you cannot change it because the era is like that. The trend of the, 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 the era is like that. I can really uh, share with you one thing for sure is the future of Wing Chun is very, very, very not likely. can be uh, reformed or make better in Asia. 
very, very not likely. The reason for that is that there are many problems in Chinese culture. So the hope of Wing Chun is in the West. Is very, 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 very not likely in Asia. Well, you might ask me, do you say something with proof, with evidence? Of course, I'm going to share with you with evidence. And it is because I found out that. That's why I asked you to go listen to this song. Okay. It is a sad stuff. Now, if there is not a country named the United States of America, I will not be able to tell you what I'm going to tell you. So I'm very lucky that I'm an American. Okay. So uh, let me share with you why is Asia not likely to reform Wing Chun or even keep Wing Chun in a healthy uh, state. Chinese have a term, it's called Men Hu Zijian. This is uh, an ancient term. So this is a part of culture of China. Menfu Zijian is bias. Menfu Zijian is bias. Okay. Favoritism. Prejudice. And uh, in martial art, at least for the past hundred of years or more, there is a very strong hold on to this man who zijian, this prejudice or this bias stuff or favoritism stuff. In this type of uh, mentality, the bottom line is my lineage is the truth. My style is the truth. My grandmaster is the most authentic. Those type of stuff. And they don't care what is the truth. What they care is only my lineage is the truth. My, uh, my style is the truth. My Grandmaster is the truth. I am the truth. So that's why you can see so many this uh, lineage pro politics and so forth in all around Kung Fu and uh, in, in Wing Chun. This thing is a deadly stuff because it ignores the truth. It only focused on, I am the guy. I am the God. Okay. Now, so why is that uh, I'm saying that it is very not likely the uh, Wing Chun will reform in Asia today? First of all, you see all this lineage stuff, my lineage and everybody create their own stuff and so forth, so forth. And that is exactly Men Hu Zijian. People cannot sit down and, and, and find out what is the truth. But it's just my way or no way. If I am having more power, more student, I am going to 
uh, uh, bully others or image laundry so that what I am belong to is the truth. And careless on what is in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the history or what is the truth technically. Now, this is 1930s. At that time, there's a person named Ma Li Tang. So he's the student of Du Xing Wu. Du Xing Wu is the bodyguard of the father of modern China, uh, Sun Yat Sen. Okay. And you know that Sun Yat Sen is uh, an American. Okay. So this uh, Sifu Ma Li Tang. He know all this, like the internal art, Sun Lu Tang and uh, Sang Yin Xiang, all those big names in 1930s. Okay, so he is a Xing Yi practitioner and he studied with uh, the uh, bodyguard of Sun Yat Sen, which is in Ziran Men. So he is a, he, he is a, a very in depth study in the Chinese martial arts. And he have college educations at that time, okay. So at that time, he is pushing for reform. The Chinese martial art. and uh, the first thing he want to reform, as he wrote it here. So, the first thing is to get rid of the Men Fu Zijian, like as what I just explained to you, I am right. I am the only right, you are wrong, okay? And my, my grandmaster is the most authentic, my lineage is the most authentic, my style is the most authentic stuff. So at the 1930, he pushed for that, he want to reform it, okay? And of course, the second thing you want to reform is all this mysterious stuff, magic Kung Fu. The third is Kung Fu is like playing in the movie. Three things. Okay. So whatever we see today, 100 years ago, at 1935, they already a group of people want to get rid of all the stuff. And of course, after 1830, there's a war with the Japanese and then the inner war and then the cultural revolutions and then up to today. So you look at Wing Chun today. It is all Men Hu Zi Jian. Do anybody care for what is the reality of Wing Chun? You look in the past 60 years. Do people really care? Or is only my way? I am the authentic. Well, sorry to say that 100 years ago, in the 1930s, that type of mentality, that type of practice already there already. And they want to get rid of it. And of course, they are not successful. That's why we end up like this today. Now, so this is about at least a hundred year old mentality, the Chinese mentality. Can we change it? Not likely. When something is in a culture for or a, 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 a country for 100 years, who the world you think you are, you can change it. Even these people, like Ma Li Tang, who know all the big name and those who uh, actually overthrown the Qing, they want to reform it. They want to get rid of it. But they cannot do it. So there's a reason why I'm saying that Wing Chun 
future is in the West, not in Asia. Do you think I am, if I am in Asia, I can say what I'm saying, telling you now? If there is no America where we can speak with evidence, protect by law, can we say it? So what is the notion I'm saying this? Well, my notion is very simple. If you love Wing Chun, you really will love Wing Chun. You know this is toxic. This is eating Wing Chun up. And you create victims of victims. Say if one person have this favoritism or bias or prejudice or I am the right one, he's going to teach his student. His student is going to teach his grand student. And everybody going on is like a victim or so victim is like a disease. And it end up, it destroyed the entire thing. But yet, if people live in this environment, they will not say anything. Because they used to. And because those type of stuff give them the, uh, the, 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 the I'll say that, uh, authority, title, because my grandmaster is the most authentic. This is the secret from this grandmaster. I am his student. I have the, 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 uh, the special uh, authority or I am, have the superiority complex. And of course, people do not want to let go of that. And not to mention that when you get into the title and money, business, you cannot get out from that. But for the Wing Chun, the culture wise, it is a case of death. Now, I'm not saying that people must not, uh, should not make money. I'm saying that we can be like uh, in Stanford University. Look at how much you have to pay for the tuitions in Stanford University or, or Harvard University. You can have personal uh, ego. There's no problem with it. The thing is, the truth part of what it is as it is, do not touch it. We human, we have ego. We want money. We want uh, title. We want to be special. We want people to look at us as special. For me, Human is like that, okay? You are not Buddha. I'm not Buddha. No, that's okay with it, right? You know, just accept that we human are mostly not perfect. Some is even more selfish. However, that truth part must not be touched. As for the Chinese, with this mentality, where Ma Li Tang 100 years ago want to get rid of it, meaning it already touched the core. And then at even 100 years ago, they are, they, are, they are selling magic. Okay. So, so it has to go. If uh, you want an art, no, you want Wing Chun to stay. So, 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 so this is, a, this is a serious problem. Can I solve it? I cannot solve it. But should I tell the world? Yes. As a Wing Chuners, a, one of the millions of Wing Chuners, this need to be known. So we do not create a victimize the, the, the next generations. We need to think for the future generations. And also those who have uh, opened their Wing Chun school today. We need to help them, you know, so that people can make a good living and they can be uh, respect, well respect by the mainstream and uh, they can be a good profession, a professional. It's not get into this old Chinese toxic spiral, okay? that I only defend my grandmaster. My grandmaster is the truth of Wing Chun. 
you should be able to say that, okay, in this case, technically my grandmaster is not uh, accord to the to the to 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 the truth. But then who is uh, perfect? Why well, is acceptable? You know, I can can anybody screw up? Sure. Just change it, make a correction. Because the grandmaster's contributions is what people respect. It's not that one makes somebody uh, like a uh, perfect. So you, you want to be respect, you need to be perfect. No, you, you, you don't need to be that. You can be imperfect because people look at your contribution, not looking into that you, are, you need to be perfect, you must perfect. We can learn from each other. Right? So in Asia, you have what, 100 years of that thing there, and everybody have those kind of mentality. This lineage, that lineage, lineage, politics, this style, that style, that politics, and all this kind of thing. You boil up the, the entire thing. You cannot change it. Look at Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee suffered too. Look, look, read Bruce Lee's uh, 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 The Living Record. Bruce suffered. Okay. So we need to be human, right? I mean, not, not to be who is perfect, but we want to solve problem. And we know that this Chinese of my lineage, my style, uh, my grandmaster is number one. I'm more authentic than you. All those which and uh, disregard our whatever the truth, those must drop. And in the West, for heaven's sake, must not carry on to that. That is what screw the Chinese martial arts. Hundred years ago, people know about it, and now in 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 the West, we must drop that, or else there's no future. Why do we want to screw our brothers who is having a school right now, making a living with that, or the the the, the next generations, the young generation who is studying it? So that is that part which is really toxic and damaging. Now, so there's a big part of the Chinese culture, the, the, the toxic thing which you need to get rid of if you want Wing Chun to stay. Okay. And uh, if you get into the Wing Chun, you get into the Wing Chun. What we heard, what we learned today, okay, mostly is the creations of past 140 years. Why do we know? We know there is a writing of uh, Wing Chun in 1890. 1890, there's a writing, okay. Yeah, so you will ask me, what well, have you studied that? Yes. Years ago, I even write, write article with uh, a person who have that 1890s uh, document, Wing Chun classic. So I know what it is inside out. Okay, by evidence. And then, so we know what happened in 1890. And we know that by 1920, Wing Chun have a, 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 new, a new creation, I should say creations. So like today's sets, like in today's where you can see the thing we practice today, it is influenced big thing, big time by this 1920 uh, evolution, I would say evolution. So the 1960s versions of Wing Chun is influenced by that 1920 evolutions. Now, 
1920 evolutions is where the Wang Chun, the eternal spring, get merged into Wing Chun. Praise the spring. Okay? That is where it gets fused into Wing Chun. And uh, in this 1920 fusion, it is very problematic. It is very problematic. It's like uh, one uh, famous name over there is Feng Xiu Cheng. The the diffusions of the Wang Chun via Feng Xiu Cheng to Wing Chun is a disaster. So you say, well, Hendrik, what do you mean? Did this disaster? Well, let's go history. So this is the Baidu, China. And so who is Feng Xiu Cheng? Feng Xiu Cheng is the Qing, Qing army, okay, like Qing official. So in 18, 1858, he is uh, Qing official and he worked for uh, this person, uh, Mr. Luo, and Mr. Luo is the uh, the Mr. Law supervisor is Chen Guofan. Do you know who is this people? Do you know who is Chen Guofan? Chen Guofan is exactly the guy who fought the Taiping and the Wing Chun ancestor in the Fine Jade. So Chen Guofan is against Wing Chun, against Taiping, against Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat. Because Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat, uh, the heaven and earth society and Wing Chun and Taiping kingdom, we are anti-Qing. Now, Feng Xiu Cheng is an official under Chen Guofan. 1858. We know that uh, the Red Bull uprising of our Wing Chun ancestor is 1854. And here it say that uh, it's Tai Fa Ming Gam teaching Feng Xiu Cheng. Okay? And all this thing. So this is a disaster. The first thing is you look into the history. How can that Feng Xiu Cheng is a part of Wing Chun. That's why today you don't see the salutations of, uh, of, of Wing Chun in the Fine Jade, where you can see the, uh, the, the Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat salutation, which is anti Qing, and that's why we have the anti Qing salutation. While Feng Xiu Cheng is, on, is from the other part of the the the, uh, the the world or is from the Qing. So even in today's movie, you can see that there is a uh, Feng Xiu Cheng's uh, name in the Wing Chun ancestor. Well, how could that be in the reality? So in 1920, for whatever reason, they really don't know what is going on. And so all this Wang Chun stuff and all this mess, it is created at that time. And then over here, he said that, oh, there's a Wang Wa Po, and then uh, at the Gong Zhao, okay, uh, with a Leong Bok Lao and Tai Fa Ming Kam. Well, you need to know that. The anti-Qing headquarters is in Fatsan. 
this Chinese history. Guangzhou is the headquarter of the Qing army, Qing official. Anti-Qing will not go to Guangzhou to do those kind of stuff. And fine jet, red boat, opera association after it was uh, shut down by the Qing, uh, about 14 years later, reopened, is reopened in Guangzhou, which is approved by the Qing. So this is one of the, 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 the evidence that if one cannot even get this thing correct, what do you expect? And technically, history is like that. Technically, like you lost the, uh, the body strength of your Wing Chun. You lost the uh, breathing. You lost the uniqueness of Wing Chun and the loss, the missing of the salutations that show you that all this, what we see today, majority you see in the movie, in all this thing is a creation for past one hundred forty 40 years. Okay. By history, by evidence, okay. Now, of course, if you are in the Qing dynasty, you have a Qing official back you up. Of course, you can shut everybody off. Well, it go back to what we, we talked before, right? The Men Hu Zi Jian. My ancestor is the authentic, the truth. Why well, can use the Qing army to shut up everybody? Well, you use those or you use today, you use media to brainwash everybody, uh, to, to image laundering. What, what is that? That is Men Hu Zi Jian. You, you are promoting yourself, you disregard of the truth, and what it end up to be? You mess up the entire culture. You mess up Wing Chun. That's why if you want to really ask the questions of can you prove your Wing Chun by history, the Chinese history and Chinese uh, 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 martial history, you cannot do it. Because it is at this period of time, this guy tried to uh, dictate the entire Wing Chun and at this point of time, it, it, he tried to dictate Wing Chun depend on who have a more famous student and how, who have more student and who have more money. There's no truth there. So that is the situation. That's why, again, I say it's very, 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 very not likely that Wing Chun can stay longer or, uh, or, or, or reform in Asia. Because with this type of thing, there is no truth there. There's only the, uh, the, the politics, who is more beneficial and uh, who is uh, uh, more well-known. Okay, so evidence like this, like this uh, Feng Xiu Cheng, Wang Chun, Wing Chun stuff. Can anybody go into the history and straighten this thing up before, before continues to propagate down to the West? And here, lump, like lumping Wong Wa Po with, uh, in, in, in uh, Kong Zhao, Leong Bok Lao, which is the, uh, the, 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 the husband of Wing Chun in Kong Zhao, you must be kidding. So that's why I say that his story is one thing, another thing is Hong Seng Choi Le Fat is another data point. You look at the thing, you can find out thing. 
Now, the reason why I wrote the Wing Chun Inceptions, the reason why I map everything into the uh, sports science language today, do you think because I want to make money, I want to be a grandmaster? I love to make money, but, but not like making money this way. And I don't want to be a grandmaster. The reason I do all of this, like your heart rate zone and everything, is so that people be able to develop the Wing Chun Kung Fu or Wing Chun skill. You are not going to learn a Wing Chun ritual. You want to develop the Wing Chun skill. And everybody suppose it, it be able to do that. Like if you go to learn BJJ or learn uh, Thai boxing or learn uh, Western boxing, you can go down there and you can really develop the skill. Not 10 teachers have their own 10 interpretations of the same thing. Like a Tan Sao can be 10 zillion things. So if you put into the sport science, everybody know what it is. And you want people to be able to develop it. And then you can scientifically measure it and prove it. Okay? Now, now you know why I, I, I'm pushing for this. So that it is here on, it is one standard. You, if you play that set, you better get that thing done. You better go as far as getting your, uh, your heart rate and your respiratory rate and everything measured. And I have to show by example, I have this, I wear this every day so that I know what I'm talking about, when, what it is possible or not, or whatever it is scientific based. It's not Hendrick based. Okay. So, so that is important. Now let's get into the Xiulin Tao. Today's three set Xiulin Tao, three sets, is majorly evolved or influenced by the 1920 uh, evolutions, 1920 evolutions. And uh, the 1920 evolutions have big part is based on the 1890s writing. Okay. However, we know that from 19, uh, uh, 1890s to today, all of those Wing Chun, including the Xiu Lin Tao, have lost three things, have missing three things, the core, the body strength, the breathing, and the uniqueness. That's why you can have so many lineage, so everybody have their way, uh, their internal, their authentic, whatever way. This kind of thing, it doesn't happen in BJJ, right? It doesn't happen in Kyokushin. It doesn't happen in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in Thai boxing or Western boxing. People always have a core that you don't touch. But today, you look at Wing Chun, you don't have the body strength, you don't have the, the, the breathing, you don't have the uniqueness, which is based on ancient Chinese martial art history. What do you, what, I, what, what is it? Okay. Now, so now I want to explain to you. Xiu Lim Tao, the training of Xiu Lim Tao, is actually really, really, really simple if you look into the 1850s writing. We know that the 1920s evolutions and the uh, 1890s writing, they do not have this from the 1850s. They do not have it, okay? Now, from one to 
five from y1 to y5 okay so this is uh, in this book if anybody want to go check it out in the detail and more this one to five is what is describing your eg kamyong ma okay so if Xiu Lin Tao is the core of Wing Chun, then E.G. Kamyong Ma is the core of Xiu Lin Tao. Okay? So the uh, E.G. Kamyong Ma is the soul of the Xiu Lin Tao or the soul of the Wing Chun. Am I right? Guess what is this? Y1 to Y5 in today's language. Sport science language. The EG Kamyong Ma, or this Y1 to Y5, is presenting in today's language the core strength and core stability so anybody who practice Julian Tao is only to practice to train the core strength and core stability why because you need the core strength and core stability to support you to move in the three planes of movement to generate power. If you, if you don't have the core strength and core stability, you cannot do that. If you read of this, you'll be able to, to, to develop the, the, the Kung Fu of this Y1 to Y5. You know that, you know that, oh, this is just developing my core strength and core stability. It is not about this magic chi or this 10 technique, that hand technique. No. The first five is telling you that in today's language, you better get your core strength and core stability developed or else that is no gain. Think about it. Is it true? By scientific, that's what it is. So the ancient, they are really smart. They are really experienced. The Wing Chun ancestor, they know what they are talking about. And that's why today, if you really develop the skill, the Kung Fu, you don't have to be the, the, the super, Superman or the, 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 the Supreme Grandmaster. If you develop this Y1 to Y5, right away you know, oh, this is just what the sport science is talking about core stability and core strength. Now, if you don't have this core stability and core strength, like I explained on the other video, how are you going to suppose to be able to handle your momentum current? You can. So EG Kamyong Ma is not clamping your leg this way, uh, uh, lifting your anus that way, uh, get your spine straight, get your triangle shape, get your structure. No, it is about your core stability and core strength. Because that is dynamic stuff. Try to uh, have this mind power, or uh, lifting your anus, or uh, having your spine in a different way, tucking your tailbone, or uh, clamping your knee, or, or making a structure, those are not dynamic stuff. Those are not this. And you can further going in. The Chinese, the, the, the Shaolin, Always say, Wai Lian Jing Gu Pi, Nei Lian Yi Kou Chi. Externally train your muscle, your sinews, your bone, internally train your breath, your chi, whatever you want to talk about it, you want to call it. 
Let me share with you. It's so, it, it is really straightforward in today's sports science. Externally train your uh, bone, your muscle, your sinews is what? Is training the core strength and core stability outside in. You need all this muscle, like your six pack, your oblique muscle, your back muscle, outside in to get a, a, a core strength and core stability. And you need what? You need your diaphragm and pivot floor muscle handling your breathing and handling your intra-abdominal pressure to guard the core stability and strength inside out. So there's one with the muscle is outside in and you have this breathing and intra-abdominal pressure is inside out. So that is what the Chinese is talking about. So now you know it. Now, if you switch your, if you shift your perspective here on, when you practice Xiu Lin Tao, disregard of what Xiu Lin Tao, you follow the 1850s, you follow the, 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 the sports science descriptions, you pay attention to your core stability and core strength. That's the first thing you want to do for practice Xiu Lin Tao. And so all the rest will fall into place. Now, if you don't do that, you, you practice, oh, this is qi, this is mine, my spine has to do this way, my hand techniques this way, this angle. As soon as you do not handle, you do not develop the core strength and core stability, which is your breathing and the intra-abdominal pressure, what can you do? It's like you're building wheels without having engine and transmission inside there. That's why in the past 140 years, that Siu Lim Tao said is useless. So you say, well, Hendrik, are you so... Uh, so sure, assertive, say that that's useless? Sure. Today, sports science already tell you, if you don't have the core strength and core stability, you got nothing. What is going to, uh, what is uh, supporting your movement in the three, three dimensional plane and your uh, power? You don't have anything there. Okay, so just switch the perspective. Here on, switch the perspective when you train Xiu Lin Tao. Develop your core strength and uh, your core stability first. Get rid of all those, I want to have my spine this way, that way, my, uh, my uh, anus this way, that way, and uh, my knee this way, that way. Just follow the spot signs. However, whatever it help you to develop your core strength and the core stability, follow that because this is scientific. You will really develop something. Instead of sitting down there, my lineage, my grandmaster, my secret teaching, and after 140 years, you look around and say, how come none of those things can, uh, can, can compare with or uh, compete with Mike Tyson? So, so, if you really want to develop Wing Chun, E.G. Kameong Ma here on has to switch the perspective to how can this stance develop my core strength and core stability. And of course, that will involve your, your muscle and involve your breathing and your intra-abdominal pressure. You have to address that. You have to develop that. Without that, what are you doing? So are, are you go back to this? Exactly what Ma Li Tang and all those people in uh, 1935 want to get rid of? Mysterious, 
and uh, make it stage-like, performance-like, dance-like. So if you want to uh, uh, get into martial art, your core strength. If you don't have the core strength, you cannot do it. And that's why, like in the Shaolin, you know, like in my book, Wing Chun Matrix, I quote there. This is the, in the Shaolin short strike. This is the first thing. So this is the translation. The transportation of force or jing is based in breathing. The handling of breathing depends on the lower abs operations. If the breathing is not at lower abs, but at the chest, the handling of legs and footwork will not be solid. How will this defeat the opponent? Breathing is strength, the root of martial arts. So at that time, which is hun uh, a few hundred years ago, they don't know, they don't talk about this spot signs on the breathing and the intra-abdominal pressure. They lump that into one. This is what it is. And uh, so, so, so that's why I put it in the book. And that's why I show you how to develop the core strength. You need to have the breathing. Your body has to be able to be able to support your core strength and core stability. That's why inside there, I have the processes to develop it using tools. So you speed up the development. So, 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 all of these books is try to make it so that it's scientific, so that everybody be able to develop it. No more mysterious, no more all those, uh, I, I have the secret, but everybody be able to develop the real Kung Fu of what the ancestor is teaching. Is this straightforward? Okay. So the ancient and the spot science, they are in the same directions. So the future of the, uh, the Wing Chun is you need to bring back the ancient. You need to map into the spot science. They're the, the future of Wing Chun. As for this, the Chinese, uh, uh, Menhu Zijian stuff, those are uh, those toxic uh, culture or uh, mindset that better be dropped. Now, last thing I want to share with you. So, what is the difference between Xiu Lin Tao and uh, those, those uh, like Yi uh, Jing Jing, eight brood cares, those kind of Tai Chi exercise? What is the difference? Well, you can call everything Qi Gong here, Qi Gong there, Qi Gong there. Wing Chun is a martial arts. Xiu Lim Tao is a martial art training. And the martial art training is based on the first priority is the core stability and core strength. The Yi Jing Jing, the Ba Duan Jing, and so forth. The first priority is not this core strength and core stability. Those are, that's why it's called exercise to promote health. Martial arts, you need to fight. You need to play with the momentum current. So we are this clear today. We are this clear in America today. When we map the ancient and the, the, uh, the sports science today together, we see the thing clearly. And that's why we know that in past 140 years, this thing is a disaster and it creates many, many victims. And the victims create more victims and it become a mess. So this is what I like to share with you today. I know it, 
I know it is a, a tough stuff. Many people will have a difficult time to, to, to swallow this. But this is reality. Are, you, are we facing it? Or we just want to go our way? And for me, my suggestion is if you want to go your own way, why don't you just drop the name Wing Chun, call it your Kung Fu, instead of putting Wing Chun there. Because if you put Wing Chun there, then you cannot represent the entire Wing Chun practitioner. And people like me and there are many, many people in the West and in Asia will not agree with you saying, no, it, Wing Chun is not your property. Why do you do this? Why do you damaging the, the, the Chinese culture? Is it right to dam damage the Chinese culture? Is it right to damage Wing Chun? So if you don't, if you like to have your own interpretations, call it your Kung Fu. Don't call it Wing Chun Kung Fu. Because if you call it Wing Chun Kung Fu, you're subjecting to a Wing Chun historical evidence or the truth of the, the Wing Chun. And you know that left and right for past uh, 100 years, people create their own thing. So, so one last thing is uh, there are a friend who asked me or uh, on the, uh, the, the, the momentum current of Wing Chun because he's arguing me that this, uh, this uh, sun punch and all this uh, straight line is the, the fastest and everything. I just tell him one thing. All what you describe on this tan ta lap ta and the sun punch, how is it compared with the boxing, the Western boxing, bobbing and weaving training, skip and roll? Do you think you can handle that thing? Do you think you can handle the momentum current of Western boxings, bobbing and waving with your linear and tan ta lap ta stuff? Do you think? Look into clearly. And go check it out. So, so this other friend asking me, so well, Hendrik, you know, what are you so special on talking about 1850s Wing Chun? Uh, asking me back on this uh, uh, counter, the Western boxings, waving and bobbing. I said, what? Well, because you don't know the Wing Chun short strike. Didn't Wing Chun short strike go down to your knee right away, jamming your knee? Attacking your knee with the with the uh, with the the plum flower footwork. Look at when people want to weaving and bobbing. How is your their knee located? Isn't that is a target? Now I'm not saying that uh, ancient 1850 Wing Chun is better than uh, the uh, the the Western boxing. I'm saying that it is a uh, Momentum, current play. Like Jenna Chi Chi Guang said, I have 32 combinations to wait for the, the, the opponent. Of course, Western boxing will have their momentum uh, combination to wait for you if you are in the short strike Wing Chun. Life is like that. But you are not going to thinking my Chain pan, my tan ta lap ta will be able even to get away from the Western boxing's bobbing and waving, which is a momentum current. You don't have to trust me. You don't have to believe me. Just go look at it. And look at the core. If you look at the, the uh, Mike Tyson doing the peekaboo, look at the core strength and stability of uh, 
or Mike Tyson. Or you don't even have Mike Tyson, you just have uh, some, uh, our boxing friend who have trained with a former boxing coach. So you look at their core when they do weaving and barbing. Can you take that? So this is what I'd like to share with you. Again, I'm not a grandmaster and I don't want to be. I'm just one of millions of Wing Chuners. And I share everything with you here with evidence. Okay. And uh, so that is what it is. 